feet right now, but we're going to begin with our ABC News exclusive. Those two high school football players who blindsided a rep now suspended, facing calls for criminal charges, and they're right here on GMA after the latest on their case. This is the moment two football players appeared to intentionally target a referee caught on camera under the Friday night lights of Texas high school football earlier this month. Watch Victor Rojas from John Jay High School make a beeline for the ref as soon as the play begins. Then after the ref is slammed into the ground, Michael Moreno dives into him head first. The two players are now suspended from the team and the school. And assistant coach Mac Breed is on paid leave after allegedly telling the players that this guy needs to pay for cheating us. The players were feeling lots of frustration by what they perceived to be missed or wrong calls by the refs. The players also allege racial slurs were directed at them by the umpire. An allegation Watts' attorney denied to ABC's T.J. Holmes. Did he use a racial slur on that field at any point that night? Mr. Watts, he did not. They are flat out lying. That's correct. They are flat out lying. While police in Marble Falls, Texas continue a criminal investigation into the incident, the referee is now considering taking his own legal action against the players. And we are joined now by Victor Rojas, Michael Moreno, and their attorney, Jesse Hernandez. Thank you all for joining us. Yes, uh, you know, that video is so shocking to so many people. Uh, Victor, I just want to know, what was going through your mind at that moment? I didn't, I, I, I can't explain it. Can't explain mm -hmm. it? Just weren't thinking? Well, I was doing what I was told. Doing what you were told? Yes, sir. By whom? Well, a player had came over and told me that the coach said to do, do it happen. The coach told you to do it? Yes, sir. And Michael? Uh, well, when it was all, like, happening, like, I just realized, you know, the gravity of the situation, you know, like, like this was actually happening, and, like, I couldn't fully go through with it. So, like, at the end, I pulled up a lot, you know, like, knowing what's actually, like, going on. And it was just, it was hard for me, you know? during the whole thing just to actually do what I did and you know to this day I regret it you know it's one of my biggest regrets and I just it's been affecting my life greatly now. Victor said your coach told you to do it? Uh, yes that's correct. What he, did he say? Well before you know I had got put into the game or um, the previous safety that I was in uh, he had got injured and um, while on the sideline he pulled me and another player over and he um, he told us and I quote um, you need to hit him uh, another player said this not the no coach. no the coach the coach he told he pulled me and another player and told us um, you know you need to hit the ref you know he needs to pay the price for what uh, just for everything that's been going on in the game there was racial slurs being thrown at you know players from this referee uh, there was, you know, unjustified calls. You know, it was just a lot that was going on. I guess his emotions got, you know, mixed into it, and he told us, you know, to do what we did. A lot of people would say, boy, the coach told you to do that, but you knew it was wrong, right? You know, you put your trust into this, you know, grown-up, you know, a guardian or your coach who's been there since, for me, since my sophomore freshman year. And, uh, you know, I, I trust him, you know, that he wants the best for me, and, and I just do, did what I was told. The referee, as you know, has said he didn't use any racial slurs. Did you hear the referee yes, use any racial slurs? Yes, sir. He told one of my uh, Hispanic friends, he told him, um, speak English, this is America. He had told that, and then... To did you hear that, or yes, did one of your friends tell you that? No, I heard it. And, um, and then to an to a African-American in our team, he told them the N-word. And you heard that? Yes, you sir. heard him say the yes, N-word? Did you? Uh, yes, I had him, heard him when he had called him Moses Reynolds, you know, the N-word. And uh, it was just really... He says that's a lie. That's not, it's the honest truth right there. And I wouldn't lie about this situation. Like, just how bad it's gotten, like, the truth needs to be told. What do you think should happen now? You can't just do that because of something you were told. But, you know, and I'm ready to face my consequences. I just ask that, like, I am greatly sorry for this, and I regret it greatly. And I just hope that people can change their minds about us and that, you know, lighten up our consequences. Up until this moment, you've had a pretty great record at school. You're in the Honor Society. Yes, sir. 
What more do you want people to know about you and what happened? Well, this everyone sees me as this thug, you know, or gangster. You know, I did this because I'm a bad guy. Like that's not who I am. Like underneath the helmet and the pads, you know, I'm really a great kid. Like, you know, school is my first priority. You know, I am aspire to become an aerospace engineer. And if you could speak with the referee, Robert Watts, right now, what would you say to him? Uh, I would apologize for the mistake that I made. The boys now are still under investigation, both in the school district and even some of the possible criminal investigation. Where does it all stand right now? Right now, everything's still up in the air. The county attorney has not yet decided what type of charges, if any, are going to be filed. Uh, the school district is still waiting to have our hearing. Uh, but they also have the discretion to let these boys go back to school, and that's what we think is best. Michael has said he wants to pay the right consequences. What do you think is the appropriate punishment? I think they've paid the appropriate punishment already. They've suffered three days of suspension. They've been in alternative school for a week. They're excluded from playing football for the rest of the season. I, I think that's enough. They've apologized. They're sorry. They didn't mean to do this. Um, I think they've been punished fairly enough. And if you could take back that moment? Of course. Took and without a, without a thought, I would. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.